Today we'll be talking about how to use the Swayjock tube cutter as well as the Swayjock deburring tool. To get started, you'll need one Swayjock tube cutter, one deburring tool, a section of tubing that you'd like to have cut, and if you have one, a Swayjock ripper pad. It's completely optional. To get started, you'll want to open up your cutter by advancing the handle counterclockwise. Insert your piece of tubing onto the rollers and hold it. And then advance your handle clockwise until you make contact. Try not to over tighten. By over tightening, you'll create a flat spot on the OD of the tubing and make it harder to cut. Once you've made contact, just give it a slight snug. Use your gripper pad if you have one. Rotate the tool around the OD of the tubing two to three times and then slightly snug the handle again. Just continue to repeat that process until you've advanced the blade all the way through the tubing itself. This may take a few rotations or a little bit of time. It really depends on the blade, if it's in good shape. But once you cut through, you'll be able to hear it and feel it. You'll notice that we've moved the material from the OD of the tubing into the ID, and we're gonna need to remove those burrs by using the Swayzok deburring tool. In order to do so, you're gonna wanna take that piece of tubing, insert it into the tool from above. So we wanna capture the shavings of the burrs inside the tool. We don't want those shavings into the ID of the tubing. That could create some problems with your system down the line. To deburr, just go ahead and rotate the tool around the ID of the, the tubing until all the burrs are removed. To remove the burrs from the outside diameter of the tubing, simply rotate the tool to the other side and follow the same techniques that we did to remove the burrs from the inside diameter, making sure that we're capturing all the shavings into the tool so we can discard those at a later time. 